yeah students now uh, we will uh, construct the remaining cows using eccentricity method that is hyperbola and parabola earlier we have seen how to construct ellipse using eccentricity method the same method we shall continue here to construct the hyperbola as well as the parabola so first we will see the parabola then we will see the hyperbola the construction procedure is almost the same there is no change only uh, difference is the marking eccentricity and uh, the vertex with uh, eccentricity value so we will uh, the first one the parabola and then uh, hyperbola and uh, in next session uh, we will continue to see the ellipse construction using concentric circle method and also tangent normal for all the above cows we will uh, do that so uh, you have to uh, have very good practice otherwise uh, the method you will forget soon and you will struggle in exam so uh, whatever uh, the way uh, to practice i have uh, told you earlier uh, please follow that so the first one today uh, is parabola already we have seen the ellipse construction the same method same procedure and same steps we have to follow here to construct a parabola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is 50 mm so here uh, there is no ratio given uh, but directly uh, mentioned as parabola so if you find uh, this word parabola it means that the eccentricity is 1 so the vertex the exactly comes in between the directrix as well as focus exactly midpoint we need to mark so uh, we, we even we don't need the eccentricity value since it exactly uh, comes at the mid of the line we will uh, mark that as usual we will proceed with uh, the directrix first um, draw a b directrix line and uh, mark c and uh, draw the axis line so axis line is uh, d c d is the axis line and 50 mm is given uh, that is the distance between the directrix fixed line and fixed point and this is the focus fixed point at exactly mid middle of 50 mm at exactly 25 mm uh, i have marked the vertex so this is the vertex and as usual uh, you rotate it and get the guideline guide point guiding point so from here c through e you draw the thin line so don't forget that you have to draw only thin lines only the object line should be thick line remember always object line should be thick line remaining all lines you are uh, supposed to draw only thin lines from c through e draw this guideline and now from vertex from this point from vertex you mark uh, different points so you can take equidistance any distance you can take there is no restriction and also remember that the parabola is a open curve so no need to continue and no need to wait right the another vertex point you you never get and please continue uh, with the with our uh, usual procedure so from here from vertex you can take any distance any distance on the axis line uh, for example 10 mm or 9 mm you can take or 11 mm 12 mm any distance you can take and you can mark a few points no need to uh, mark many number of points some seven or eight lines will do maximum eight lines will do and now uh, through one draw the vertical line that line should meet this guideline so here uh, same procedure from this one point to this one dash you measure this distance and f as center on one one dash line you mark the arc you mark the arc and also this side also you can mark simultaneously and this is the second line third line fourth line so i have taken uh, some four lines you can take uh, the maximum eight lines don't uh, take more than eight because you will never get the closed curve so now the f as center one one dash as radius mark this arc mark this arc similarly you mark this side also on both sides 
so this guideline if you draw one side that will be enough so you can save time on this side just this on this line on this line itself you can mark and you can ignore to draw one more line like this so that saves uh, enormous time and you can complete the curve very easily and this is the uh, our point below cd below axis line so you mark this as p1 and p1 dash now similarly from 2 to 2 dash from 2 to 2 dash we measure and f as center on 2 2 dash line you cut the arc on the other side also you cut the same arc and uh, similarly for 3 3 dash right you measure this distance from focus you cut the arc similarly on this side and mark this as p3 as well as p3 dash for from 4 to 4 dash you measure this distance and from focus you cut the arc you cut the arc on both sides you can cut and mark uh, p4 as well as p4 dash now as usual uh, you can draw either uh, using uh, free hand or you can use french cows so french cows if you use you will get very fine cow so only this cow alone you are supposed to draw using thick lines so all remaining lines should be thin lines including dimension lines so as i said earlier do dimensioning at the end only not now not in the beginning itself once you do it later you can avoid any overlapping of lines and uh, uh, you, you can do it you can do it uh, outside the diagram so that will give you very good feel and look so here the uh, once i get all these points now i have to join using thick curve so this is my object line this is my object line so i have used the french curve and i have drawn this thick curve so now the uh, to complete this problem we need to mark tangent as well as normal so tangent and normal any point you take so any point you take i have taken a point here so that point is named as p and join that point to f so there is no change in procedure same procedure that we have followed for uh, ellipse normal and tangent so p f i have joined with thin line to to this line to p f line from f draw a 90 degree line a 90 degree line till it meets the a b line that is the directrix line so i repeat from p f to p f line draw a 90 degree line to till it touches a b line so this 90 degree should be in between p f and f t so f t so now from this point from this point through p draw a tangent so start from here through touching p draw the tangent to this hyper sorry parabola you will get the tangent first tangent and set the drafter parallel to this one scale another scale will be automatically gives you 90 degrees so using that another scale draw the normal so tt is the tangent mn is the normal nn is the normal so there ends the parabola so this is the procedure to construct parabola same procedure you need to follow to construct the hyperbola also so to draw hyperbola it is uh, very similar to parabola only right only difference is the eccentricity eccentricity uh, shifts a little towards left side from the center so like this so here construct a hyperbola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is 65 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2 so it is given uh, five parts but it is 65 mm 65 mm you can see 3 by 2 it is 1.5 so more than one uh, you are obviously getting the hyperbola curve so it is more than one and uh, th this is the uh, directrix line mark a b as usual mark center now mark focus on this line at 65 mm so 65 mm you have to divide into five parts to divide 65 mm into five parts the uh, use the method uh, dividing a line into equal number of parts that method uh, please follow and do this uh, so here this is your focus fixed point <coughs> now this is 65 mm 
This 65 mm C2F divide this into five equal parts using that construction method. Don't uh, use the scale. So instead, if you use that method, it will be very fine and uh, it gives you the accurate curve. So now divide this into five parts. So from F measure three parts and at the end of the third part, you mark the vertex. So this is the third part and uh, I have marked the vertex. So this is from here it is second one and from here it is third one. So from here I have a mark it as second part. So now through F it is uh, from here the procedure remains same as parabola. Now draw the arc, draw the arc. So VF distance you mark vertically. So that's, that's what you are doing here. VF distance you have to mark at 90 degrees to axis line. So directly also you can draw, nothing wrong. Even if you don't show this arrow mark, uh, no problem. So through this point, it is E point we are notating. So through E from C, draw the guideline. So still you can see it goes up. So since the vertex is very nearer to directrix, the line goes little away. So little away. This is the guide, guideline now. Uh, from here, the same procedure, you can go up to uh, 8 parts, you can mark 8 parts on uh, C, D line. So any, any number of lines, no problem. But uh, remember that hyperbola is also a op an open curve, so you cannot uh, get the another vertex. So uh, I have taken 4 parts only, so no problem, you can take up to 8 also, nothing wrong. So uh, same procedure, now one one dash distance from focus, draw the arc and one one dash. On the other side also you complete that exercise. And from two two dash, you measure this distance from F, mark the point, that is the cutting the arc on the two line. And both sides you can uh, cut, P2 and P2 dash you will obtain. And on three, uh, three dash, measure this distance and from F you cut the arc and on both sides you can cut the arc and four also you can cut the arc and it will go on it will keep going on only right it will never uh, come back again so that is the hyperbola because eccentricity is greater than one and now after getting these many points with a fine curve right either uh, freehand or uh, you can use uh, french cows you can complete the curve very fine curve you can draw and this is the hyperbola to draw the tangent on normal uh, to this curve, so this is the point I have taken. No, there is no change, same procedure only. From this point, draw the connect the F point, focus point, and from here draw 90 degrees line uh, to this F line, this line, and 90 degree line. So that line will touch the directrix, and from this point, touching this point you draw the line, straight line. So that is that should be thick line. And once you draw this thick line, you will get the tangent. So this is the tangent. Once you draw the 90 degree line to the tangent, it is it will become your normal. So this is normal, normal line. So that is uh, the hyperbola construction. So students remember uh, the procedure remains same for uh, an ellipse, for a parabola, for hyperbola construction. So please follow the same procedure. And uh, even though the ellipse construction using eccentricity method is not given in the syllabus uh, statement, uh, but you should be thorough with it. Uh, even if you if you get that question, you you, may, you cannot claim that it is out of syllabus. And uh, practice all these three cows. And uh, the way I will tell you uh, to practice these problems and not not only these problems in engineering drawing you should practice like uh, laboratory uh, exercises what you do is first take one notebook in notebook you complete the drawing using the instruments you you may not you use your drafter uh, using notebook because you cannot move the drafter on the notebook uh, no problem but you can draw a, a rough sketch a rough sketch, a neat sketch and if you practice in notebook, you will come to know what are all the difficulties you are facing. So once you, you are good, you, you, are, you are understanding the procedure well, 
then you, you replicate the same thing in your drawing sheet. So drawing sheet is very much equal to your record notebook in laboratory exercises. So record notebook you, you used to maintain with uh, utmost care, right? With the neatness, drawings, everything. Uh, you will be drawing it neatly and uh, you are maintaining that dignity. So the same practice you should have. So practice at least twice in notebook so that you will not do a single mistake in drawing sheet. So in that way you please practice and uh, submit these problems in both notebook as well as in drawing sheet to me when you are coming to class. So uh, here we stop and then uh, we will continue the construction of uh, ellipse using concentric circle method in next session. Thank you. Thank you students.